In this video, we're going to go over how to transfer video files created on the Blackmagic camera software on a USB-C iPhone. So as of today, uh, what are we, April, May, May, May 2024, that's the iPhone 15. However, obviously it'll, I'm, I'm gonna guess, I don't know this for certain, but I'm gonna guess that this method will transfer forward. So I'm gonna assume the reason that you're here is because when you plug your, um, your iPhone 15 into your PC, and this is primarily for PC, although this will work for Apple, this may simplify your life for Apple as well, but this is primarily for PC. Um, so you're probably here because you plugged your iPhone 15 into your PC, and even after you installed the iTunes software, when you tried to use, or when you tried to transfer the files that you created with your Blackmagic um, camera software that you downloaded onto your iPhone, you were unable to find the files. And I, I spent a lot of time researching this. I, I can't believe that none of the people that I saw videos by, because a lot of the videos were a lot more in-depth than, than what I'm gonna show you here. So I am kind of unsure as to how none of the videos that I saw went over what I'm about to show you, because it's really freaking simple. But this should make your life a little bit easier. It's not perfect, it's not as easy as it would have been had you been able to just plug the cable in and transfer the, the files. I, I don't know why they did did this the way they did. I don't know why you can't access that area of the, uh, the, the storage on the iPhone 15 directly, but for whatever reason, it's that way. So there's a few different kind of uh, variations on this. All of them will lead to the same thing, which is your video files on a thumb drive, but there's a few different ways to do it. So this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So you can go, probably the least complicated way to do this is gonna to be to have a USB-C thumb drive. So this actually has both. It's got, it's got C, or I'm sorry, it's got USB-A and USB-C. So the simplest way to do it is gonna be just to plug in your USB-C and we'll go over what it looks like in the software, but the simplest way would be to plug in your USB-C. The next option that you have is a standard USB thumb drive with a, um, a USB-C to USB-A dongle. And then you can just plug your normal thumb drive in and plug that into the iPhone. Um, and then the, uh, the last, make sure that worked. Okay, yeah, that worked too. So then the other thing you can do, not the last, but the other thing you can do is if you wanted to go with a memory card, so you can get one of these little card readers. This actually has USB-C and USB-A, so you could either go directly into the iPhone or into this. We're gonna go into this. So if you've got a, a card reader, like this little one, and you've got a, uh, an SD card, or the, most of these card readers, card readers have full and micro, so we'll go micro, plug our little, eh, Upside down, oh, there we go. Okay, so we plug our little card into there. And do this, plug in again. Should be pretty fast, it's gonna work. Yep, that worked as well. And then the last option, and what I'm gonna actually do to show you guys how this works so that I can actually put it on video, is this. This particular one, this is a USB-C, uh, this one's almost what I would define as a docking station. It's a little more advanced. It's similar to a USB hub, but it's, I mean, I guess technically, uh, they have it listed as USB-C multifunction adapter. Um, but in any case, it's, it's, this one's advanced enough that I would almost call it a docking station. It's got Ethernet, it's got uh, mini, I'm sorry, micro and full-sized. It's got HDMI, it's got uh, USB-C, uh, I think 10, and then it's also got a USB-C power delivery, so you can plug in your, um, I'm sorry, that's on that side, you can plug in a, uh, like a high, a high input um, uh, USB-C, and then you'll get power delivery out the other USB-C port, and then it has three, yeah, three standard USB-As as well. 
Um, so this is what's going to allow me to run uh, HDMI signal to give you the, the video as well as plug the thumb drive in. So let's get started and I will show you exactly how this is going to appear in software. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, uh, this is again primarily for PC people that are trying to transfer these files over their PC. Now the end result should be the video files on a thumb drive, which may make your life easier for your Mac as well. But I've re this is really more for PC people. I'm not a Mac guy. I just, I like some features of the iPhone. And so I'm, I'm using it. I'm particularly thrilled with the, uh, the Blackmagic camera software. It really lets me do some stuff that would otherwise require some fairly expensive um, hardware. So, so uh, your thumb drive, you're going to want to make sure and again, I'm assuming you're on PC, so this should be simple to do. You're going to want to make sure that it's formatted as XFAT. If it is not formatted as XFAT, you can still do this, but you will be limited on the size of the files. So if you have like a 6 gig 4K uh, video file you want to transfer over, you're probably going to get an error message saying this format does not support the file size or something like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is know where your... Um, where it's where the uh, um, the Blackmagic software stores the video file. So you're going to click on on my phone, and it's just in Blackmagic Cam. It's going to be in Media, and it'll be these various different. So you can kind of see the files I've made in the last couple of days. Um, it'll be among among these files. It'll be the newest one that you see. So what you're going to want to do is, <clears throat> so we've got our thumb drive in hand, and regardless of, this this will show up the same regardless of how you do this, whether or not you use a direct USB-C, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, or you plug it into a hub, it's going to show up the same way. So you plug in your thumb drive, just plugged it in, and it shows up, It'll unless it has a title, it'll show up as untitled. So there's nothing on it right now. Uh, this is just a this is a generic team group branded 256 gig thumb drive. So then what you need to do is you need to go to on my phone, to the Black Magic software, to your media soft to your media folder, and then you find. So for example, I put out this video. I actually made this with my iPhone. This is a video I just put out about a uh, a special little uh, PCIe. Um, a retention bracket release button on my motherboard. So let's say I wanted that. I would tap and hold on that. I'd click copy. Now I will say, now maybe there's a way to do this, but I've had some trouble being able to select multiple files. I'm only usually able to do one file at a time. Maybe that, like I said, maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Dang it. That was not supposed to happen. Just a second. Let me get it. I don't know why it disconnected. Let me reconnect it in just a second. Should show back up here in a sec. You're going to work. This has been a problem I've had periodically is with the, uh, oh, there it goes. Okay. So this isn't, whether the, the HDMI signal, it's not relevant to this video. It's annoying. There maybe there's a workaround, but making it work is not relevant to this video. So we're going to keep going. So we've got that file copied. If, if you need multiple files and you don't know a way to select multiple, you just make a new folder. This new folder, name the folder, dump all the files that you want, just drag them into that one, and then copy the whole folder. But in this case, we just want one. So we're going to go back, back, we're going to go to the untitled, and we're just going to click and hold. We're going to click paste. So, as you see, it's copying it over. You can kind of see that little... That little light circle, that's the uh, that's the file copy. I guess that could have been, I could have bumped the HDMI cable away it didn't like. Let's see, once it's done, oh yeah, let's see. Huh? No, it seems tight in the port. I don't know what's going on here. I've had some issues with these USB uh, um, accessories though, so whatever. Um, it's not relevant to this. So now you have that, um, now you have that file on on your thumb drive and you are ready, you can just pop it into your computer 
and throw it onto Adobe Premiere or whatever you use, even Blackmagic, uh, what do they call that software? Blackmagic uh, DaVinci? Isn't DaVinci? DaVinci Blackmagic? I thought it was. Anyway, regardless, you can just throw it into your software like a normal, uh, I think it's just a normal MP4. Uh, I think I looked and they are H.265 uh, MP4 files, so it's just a normal, normal video file. Um, so I hope you guys find that informative and uh, thanks for watching the video.